Here's a camera tutorial to turn your product photos from this to this. This is super easy to do. Let me show you how. Upload your product photo. And now let's remove the background because we're going to edit it on Canva. The easiest way to do this is click on the photo and then now click on edit photo and then remove background. This is a Canva Pro feature, unfortunately. So if you don't have Canva Pro, try remove.pg. It does the same thing for free. Now drag your image from the corners to resize it. But make sure when you do, there is a gap in the front like that. Now click on that gap and then click on this color to change it to whatever color you want. We're going to try gradient. So click on whatever color gradient you like. I'm going to click on this one right here. Now let's change the color of this gradient. So the easiest way to do this is to click on the color. And then up here, you're going to see this like filter toggle effect. So click on that. So here you can add as many colors as you like to your gradient, even like change it to your color code. So if you want to replicate the same thing I'm creating, just copy these color codes. So here is what it looks like with the three colors added. Now let's get that nice halo effect. So in order to do that, go back to your color. So when you click on the toggle again, you'll see all these different style options. So click on this uh, halo effect right here. This is what it looks like once you add that. So now let's add some sparkles to it. Under elements, you can either type in glitter, sparkles, or particle effects. Choose whatever you like and then bring it to your design. Now just adjust it to however way you like so that it kind of fits in nicely to your design. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on these three dots and under layer, say send it backwards. Now go back to elements and this time you're going to type in leaves. Alright, so choose whatever you like. I'm just going to choose the very first option for this example. And then same thing, just drag it and then fit it to your design. And then click on the three dots to send it backwards. Like this. Now let's add the final touches. You can bring your logo, you can type whatever you want. So go to text, add text, and then I'm just going to say face serum. And that's how easy it is to create this. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to follow me for more.